Welcome to the Two Inside the Coaches Corner. I'm Alexis Carroll. And I'm Hayden Brown. And we'd like to welcome varsity football coach Scott Bartholomew to the program. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. The Cavaliers have had a rough season, but can you talk about... Okay, I'm starting at the top of that. The Cavaliers have had a rough season, but can you talk about the good characteristics you have seen out of your players this fall? Well, I think the the, the, the season itself um, is, is, like you said, it's not been a great season. I mean, we're one and eight right now. Uh, and so we started off with a really tough schedule. And like I said before, that's that is what it is. But then you have a couple of injuries and what you've seen happen and, and what 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 you got to get out of things like this seasons like this is the kids effort, their attitudes, are they going to, are they continuing to try to improve? Or, and, you know, one of the things that's been said in the coach's office after practice more than once this year is we have really enjoyed Monday through Thursday. The kids are showing up, they're coming to practice and they're practicing. They're doing what we ask them to do. We're just not being able to carry all that to the field per se. And then some weeks it's because of injury, some weeks because of sickness. I mean, um, you know, like this week, um, you know, we have two offensive linemen out and a, and a defensive uh, back wide receiver who's been sick all week, you know, but you know, and those are things that you just deal with. You got to hope the next person up, but just that, um, Fortitude to keep getting, trying to get better and to improve and keep a positive attitude. I think those are the things that you have to grasp out of a season like this. The next game is at Jackson on Friday, and the Cavaliers are considered the underdogs. What have you been doing to prepare for Jackson? Well, I think the the, the thing that uh, Jackson's actually uh, – a really good football team. They're one of the best teams in our region. I mean, you look, we played London earlier. They're number one in the region. I think Jackson's number three in our region. Um, so they're, they're a really good team. They've got a really fast running back. Um, they've got a young line, but you know, when you have a kid that's as fast as the Wolford kid, that sometimes you can make mistakes and he overcomes those. Uh, but they're, they've done a really good job of, uh, of putting some points on the board. They have always played good defense. Um, We've always matched well with well with them up front um, defensively, and uh, you know I thought last year it was like, you know it was a close ball game right to the very end. I think it was maybe a fourteen seven game until the, the fourth quarter and and stuff. So we, you know it's always been a good game. I thought last week our kids played hard. I thought they played with a passion. We weren't where we needed to be to get things. We just can't get over that hump. I mean you know we went to kick the first drive. We kept it for nine minutes, so we get to kick a field goal and. And we're on a natural grass and, and Deacon slips and falls down and hits the crossbar. And it didn't hit the crossbar and go over. It had to hit the crossbar and go under. That's the kind of things that's happened to us this year. And um, But I thought our kids have played really hard and, 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 and tried to be competitive at, at all times. And so, you know, those are the things I hope we do this week at Jackson. I hope that we continue to play hard um, and, and, and do the little things that matter and play for each other. You know, that's where that's where the program's going to grow. And now for the rapid fire questions. What would you do if you won the lottery? <laughs> well, I'm just like everybody. I sit and think about it. But the first thing I would do is probably go out to Wyoming. If I'd have won that last lottery, which was one billion or whatever it was, I'd have went out and tried to buy the Yellowstone Ranch because I'd just move out there and then I'd put my kids somewhere a couple hundred miles away from me. But you know, and uh, I buy them a helicopter in case they wanted to come and visit. Um, but uh, I'm I'm a outdoorsman. I I like. And my wife says I wouldn't enjoy it because I like people too much. But I love fishing. I love hunting. You know, I like those kind of things. I I, I just those are kind of things I enjoy. And so I think I would buy some land somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Now whether I stay there all the time or not, I could go there and get away. Well, what is your favorite Disney character? Oh, uh, I would probably say it's the genie uh, that uh, what was uh, Aladdin, Aladdin, the genie on Aladdin. I thought I thought he he made me laugh. The original genie or yeah. the one from the newest movie? The ri original one. What dish do you cook the best? Ooh, I'm. I'm probably I don't really cook dishes. I'm, I'm a steak guy, so I, I really and, and I'm pretty good with with the with the smoker. We we have a lot of stuff out of the smoker. I do things there, but uh, if I have my choice and I'm going to fix something, it's a it's a big ribeye on the grill. Describe yourself in one word. Hmm. 
I think passionate about whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm involved with. I, um, I get really into it. Um, sometimes too much. Sometimes I get into it so much that I let my emotions lead me down a path that I say something or do something that later on I'm apologizing for, or, and it's not because it was wrong. It's just, it really, it was, it just didn't need to be done that way. I said, so yeah, I think, I think that's the word I would use. If you could go back in time and change history, would you? Yes, I would. Um, There's things that happened in my life that I would change. Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas. Who are your seniors and what did they all bring to the table this season? Obviously, this group of seniors is, is, is a really nice group. They're, they're really nice kids. They practice really hard. You know, they're, they're kids that you really like. Um, Oscar's been a kid, that, he's a linebacker, but he's also played wide receiver. He's played running back. He's played the H-back. Um, I think if we ask Oscar to play guard, he'd play guard. So he's had a really good – Wesley Scott was a kid that was never a lineman. And we said this year, Wesley, we think you can play on the offensive line for us. And he – whatever we asked, he went there. He struggled early, but he's turned into a really nice offensive lineman. His effort and the way he approaches it is really good. Um, Lucas Sprague uh, had a, he's had a solid year. He's a wide receiver, defensive back, uh, plays on some special teams, uh, does whatever you ask him to do. Evan Lake, a little slow starting coming off the, off of the knee injury from the year before, but his, his best games have been the last two or three games. He is really playing well for Evan. Uh, and so he's had a really good year. Cohen Butler suffered, suffered a uh, shoulder injury early in the season. So he's limited to just we're just playing him a wide receiver right now. So, it's, you know, we Cohen plays baseball. Baseball's probably what sport Cohen wants to play if he gets to, wants to go to college and try to do something. And so we want to put him someplace that he can help us, but yet also protect him and put him in a situation where he doesn't get hurt. Um, Mama, uh, Miles Lewis has um, had a really rough year. He's had an ankle injury that just kept bothering him from uh, like week three. And then – uh, he just got his ankle injuries, and this week he's had the flu. He's been out all week, you know, and I'm sure he's going to be here today and uh, and probably try to play again to play tomorrow. But you know, it's just that's hard on you when you when you're out all week and and you're sick. So, but Miles has had a, a solid year. Mamo Wilson, I don't know if you know Mamo, but Mamo's just it's Mamo. He just he's just nice. He's going to do what you ask him to do. He's going to be where you need him to be. And he's going to give you his best effort, you know. Um, Lucas Reinhardt. Lucas, it took me a while to understand Lucas. Lucas, but I understand Lucas now. Lucas has um, had a good year. He's uh, played a couple different positions at wide receiver and at, in the secondary and uh, always does his best and, uh, and has done a super job for us. Uh, Eli Hardesty is that senior coming in that didn't, he's kind of like Wesley. He didn't have a spot and, but he kept working hard and kept playing. And, and honestly, he's, undersized for where we played him at inside in the defensive line, but his effort and his uh, tenacity, just he kept just playing so hard that we had to try to put him in there some. He eventually, he got a concussion, so he's out for the year. Uh, Cade Nevlin and I spent all winter coming in two days a week in the morning to throw. He he tried to you know, put himself in a situation where he could be the best he could be. You know, then he had a, uh, you know, obviously struggled a little bit in his first few games, and then he broke his wrist. Coming back from a broken wrist has been one of those things, just trying to get him back in the sink of things. And then, you know, once Juan had settled himself in, it's just trying to figure out which one, you know, is is best for the situation. And they do a great job of supporting each other. And then Deacon. Deacon's, he's the kicker. Now, I say that as a joke because kickers are a very important part of the team. And Deacon knows that I feel he's a very important part of the team. And uh, even though he's not at practice every day, when he comes – He's there. He did, like yesterday, we had a great a special teams practice. A lot of that was because of Deacon's effort and the way he approaches his job. Well, Coach, good luck this Friday. And for the Chillicothe Coach's Corner, I'm Hayden Brown. And I'm Alexis Carroll. Go, go Cavs. Cavs. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.